Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars action figure review. Uh, here today we have a repackage of the old 2005-2006 Commander Cody. The Revenge of the Sith. Show you what he looks like. It's a really, really cool figure. He's highly articulated and highly detailed. So yeah, that's the figure. Before we get on to anything, I'll just show you the packaging. Let's bring that back a bit. So as you see, Revenge of the Sith. A nice picture of Commander Cody there, holding the hologram of Darth Sidious, when he's about to tell Commander Cody about Order 66. So yeah. And here is the back. It has the old Commander Cody from 2005-2006 from the Saga Collection. Then just the rest of that wave when it was out. Let's take us in the way. Yeah. So that's the packaging. And let's go on to the figure. Well, here is the figure. He's really, really cool. Um, well, I'll start with the detail, I guess. Just take his gun off. So, yeah. This figure's really, really well detailed. He's got, as you can see on the chest plate, I think you can see anyway, uh, like, Markings, it looks like scratches, which are really effective on the uh, chest plate. It's really cool. He has um, like the paintwork, which it looks like it's been not smudged but worn out a bit. Just the leg and the uh, chest plate and stuff. I never actually noticed this, but he only has on this one. He only has one stripe on this side, but normally when, well, from the Clone Wars, he has the, both stripes. I've never actually noticed that before, but, yeah. You won't, I don't think you'll be able to see this, but, oh, let's back back. Uh, he has, like, little dents in his armour, which just shows he's older. I don't think you'll be able to see that at all. Hmm, shame. Uh, so yeah, his uh, helmet sculpt is phenomenal, really, really good, and uh, he's got, yeah, he's got this brilliant colour to it and stuff. He comes with this um, backpack kind of thing which can stick on the back, you know, it comes off, it's quite loose upon his back, but um... Yeah, it fits on just back, just like that. Which is a cool feature. And um, also, I'll just take that off now. Under this bit here, under the chest bit, it's uh, grey. Which I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. But otherwise, it's still cool anyway. He, um, this one thing which I don't understand. He has this, uh, he has the, um his belt and this little pack here is orange and this one here is just grey thought it would have been better if they were both yellow stand out more but otherwise it goes all the way round he does come with of course the DC-15 blaster rifle Backpack, which I've already showed you. The um, a hologram of Darth Sidious, which I'll show you that he can hold really well. And Obi Wan's lightsaber, which it well, just that. And orders, well, that's it. But um, it does have. It's another little fault. If you can see, there's like a not well, not kind of clip, which you uh. I'm put into a belt or something. 
which um here on uh commander cody i don't know if you see that little hole there it's supposed to fit in but it doesn't which is a real shame really i think but if that went on there he would look really cool just a shame but yeah he can hold the dc-15 blaster rifle well which i showed you and oh, his hand came off always seems to happen with all the uh, saga legend ones oh well yeah, but yeah, he can hold the Darth Sidious, the hologram from Darth Sidious, really well. It's cool with it. Also, his antenna is right there on his shoulder. Looking good. Now, this is another fault. His helmet is removable. I'll just show you the head sculpt first before I get to the fault. But yeah, his hip sculpt's really, really good. Goes all the way around. And I never noticed this either. That Commander Cody has like a... He has a complete shade, like, of hair here on the side. A bit like from the Clone Wars uh, slick from the Hidden Enemy. Kind of like his hair, except his goes down like a, like a triangle. When slick's just a shade all the way around his head. Yeah, never know that. The head sculpt's good. And here's the fault. His helmet is really, really large inside. And his um, helmet comes off very easily. Well, it's loose. It doesn't really come off, but it's very loose. When you, like, if you turn his head, if you just went like that or something, like, when you look the other way, He's looking over there, which just shows his helmet's a bit too loose for his head. Which I think, I think it would have helped if his head was a bit bigger. Because his head just looks too small for his body. From my point of view. But yeah. Um, that's literally the only fault there is. And the one with the lightsaber. But he's really good detail. Articulation, he has a bolt jointed head. Ball hinged shoulder, except it goes up halfway because the armor, my well, shoulder plate takes over, but it doesn't go higher. Bolt jointed uh, elbows, swivel wrists, bolt jointed <coughs> or ball hinged even, no, bolt jointed even. Sorry about that. Torso, uh, bolt jointed hips, so you can do the splits, kind of. It's cool. Uh, ball hinge knees and bolt jointed ankles. So, um, yeah. This figure's really, really good. I was really proud of it. <coughs> Definitely one of my favourites out of all of them we got. From Toys R Us. So, yeah. There is Commander Cody from Revenge of the Surf Free Package. So glad you, I uh, hope you enjoyed this review, and until next time, may the force be with you.